What's up sellers and welcome to today's video. Hey, I posted a video a few days ago about why I started selling books Merchant Fulfilled on Amazon. Um, I'm cherry picking books and I'm selling them Merchant Fulfilled just to get books sold a little bit faster with just a little bit higher profit margins. And I had a lot of people jump into my DMs on Instagram as well as in the comments and say, hey, I really would like to see what your um, triggers are for Merchant Fulfilled. So I'm here today to make that video and to show you um, what my triggers are and why uh, they are the way that they are. Disclaimer from the beginning, I'm super not fancy about this stuff. And so I'm just gonna show you what I do, what works for me. I hope uh, it might work for you. If it doesn't, that's cool. Share with me what your Merchant Fulfilled triggers are. Let me know what you think I might be doing wrong where I can optimize myself. I don't know everything, uh, just like nobody knows everything, but you, may know a little bit more than me, and if you do, I sure would like to learn from you as well. So let's jump into this video and check it out. Here on my computer, uh, I'm trying to load the Scout IQ, which is my um, option, my scanner app of choice. I'm trying to load that. Uh, it's taken forever, and so we're just gonna jump into my phone here. <clears throat> For this app, uh, I have a link in the description of this video where you can get a 14-day uh, free trial if you want to check it out. After that, it's, uh, I believe, $10 per month to have the live version, which is you use your internet. Every time you scan, it checks the Amazon database using your internet or Wi-Fi connection. And then uh, it's also $44 a month if you want to download the entire Amazon database to your phone. And so I use the $44 a month option. Anyways, uh, there's a link in the description if you want a 14-day trial of Scout IQ. I highly recommend it. Um, it's absolute necessity if you are a bookseller on Amazon. So here we are inside the dashboard of my Scout IQ on my phone. Uh, first thing we're going to do is jump into triggers up at the top. And you can see I have a bunch of triggers. I have Scout IQ default triggers, which are good when you're starting out. As you get to know the business and as you get to learn a bit more, um, you can definitely uh, tweak those. And I have tweaked them. I've got ABC $1.50, which is just books if I'm paying $1.50. I've got ABC $3, that's if I'm buying books that are $3. I've got books that are based solely off the e-score. Uh, that's something I was working with. An employee trigger set, which is um, I have people that source for me and I can remotely control their triggers from here. And this is me paying 50 cents per book that my employees find. Uh, I have people across the country, I have people in California, I've got people here in Virginia uh, and other places where they have Scout IQ. I pay $10 a month for them to have an employee account. And then when they go sourcing, let's say they find um, 100 profitable books through the day, they make $50. They get 50 cents per book that they find. And then they ship the books to me. And then I take them and list them. The employee triggers are a little bit higher um, profit margins because we have to compensate for the shipping costs to and from and all that. So that's what that is. We have Merchant Fulfilled at $1.50, and then we have Games. I've never opened the Games, don't know what that's about. Um, so we're just gonna jump into Merchant Fulfilled. We're gonna say um, Edit Triggers, and it's gonna ask us to select which one we wanna work with, which is this one. And so right here we see at the top, <clears throat> we're in the editing screen, so I'm gonna try not to change anything because this tends to be working for me fairly well. Uh, description is just Merchant Fulfilled at $1.50. Most of the books that I buy are $1 a dollar a piece plus tax. Some books that I buy are $1.50 plus tax. And then if I go to uh, like Goodwill, they charge $3 for their hardcover. So I just kind of do the mental math. So we're going to look at these. Uh, Merchant Fulfilled at $1.50. Fulfillment, Merchant Fulfilled. From this drop down, you can choose FBA or Merchant Fulfilled. We're sticking with MF. Uh, my buy cost, $1.50. I just explained that. Merchant Fulfilled Fixed Cost. So this is your shipping that you would ship to a customer. So it's a base cost. This is how I set mine up. I did the math on several books and I found this to be the most round number that covers shipping accurately. Remember that it's always okay to overshoot your numbers a little bit so that you lock in the profits. And if you overestimate what you are paying for the book, then that means that uh, you will actually make a little bit more money than you had anticipated. If you underestimate what you're paying for the book and for the shipping, then you're going to end up losing money when those things are paid. So I overestimated slightly to say $2 fixed cost and then 
um, 75 cents per pound of whatever that item is. This comes out to be, if you have a book that's about a pound, you're gonna pay 325 media mail to ship that book and that's what this converts to. All right, so down at the trigger sets, this is it guys, this is not fancy. I went like super uh, caveman for this. This is super, uh, super freaking, this is really simple. All right, so minimum e-score and maximum e-score. Uh, e-score is basically just how many days have had sales of that item in the past 180 days. A 180 e-score means that that book is selling every single day and at least, or even multiple times per day. And a minimum e-score of 20 is saying that that book is selling um, 20 copies every 180 days or about uh, every nine days or so. Minimum rank, maximum rank. Rank is a hard thing to really fit in a box. Um, so the best way that I can describe it is minimum rank is the number one book sold, uh, the number one bestseller in the world today on Amazon. That's rank one. Two million could be many different things. A book that has sold one week ago might be a million rank, or a book that sold two weeks ago might be one million rank. Um, a book that sold a week ago may be a two million rank, or that book may have sold three weeks ago and be a two million rank. It's kind of whenever it gets to that the end, it gets a little bit mushy in figuring out when the book sold and where. I highly re recommend getting uh, Keepa. Look at the Keepa graph, and that shows you exactly when those books sold and when the ranks adjusted. That is a invaluable tool. Uh, you can check that out. I've got a link in the description for that. FBA slot, I want to skip it. Uh, I'm not competing with FBA offers. I only want to look at used offers. That's why it says used slot. Number one, I only want to look at merchant fulfilled offers, which are the lowest priced offers in this. Buy box compare, no, I'm not worried about the buy box because I'm looking at merchant fulfilled items. Generally, the used buy box goes to FBA offers. If I happen to capture the buy box and sell at that price, that's cool, and I will not be upset about it. However, um, I'm not concerned with capturing the buy box because I know 90% of the time or more, it goes to FBA offers anyways. Target profit is $4. So I want to see after what I pay for the book, after what I pay in shipping, after all costs are taken care of, after Amazon's fees, after everything, I wanna see $4 minimum come back to my pocket. That gives me the ability to go buy a couple more books and profit a couple dollars. This may not seem like a lot. However, averaged over hundreds of items or thousands of items, this can be a huge game changer. Always reject, no. All right, so trigger two. We've got a minimum e-score of one, which means it's only sold one sale in the past 180 days. 19 is the max e-score. That's kind of the range that I don't even wanna deal with those books. They'll take too long to sell. I don't want them in my inventory. Uh, minimum rank is 2 million and one all the way through 5 million. There's like 20 or 30 million books on Amazon. So the ranks, I should adjust that to go up to 30 million or whatever. Uh, FBA slot skip, use slot one, like all this doesn't even matter because at the very bottom, we see on the bottom right, where it says always reject, yes. Anything that's two million or above, or um, minimum rank one, all the way through max rank 19, uh, or e-score rather, uh, I just wanna reject those. I don't even wanna deal with them. I don't want to mess with them. I don't want any of that. So that is my trigger set. I hope you guys find this uh, information uh, valuable. If you want to screen capture these and use them for yourself, feel free. Let me know how they work for you. If you have better ideas or if you see something I'm missing or maybe like uh, somewhere where I'm slipping up, let me know in the comments below or message me, DM me on Instagram. I would definitely be uh, open to learning anything that I am not currently knowledgeable about. Guys, I thank you for your time. I value your time and I appreciate that you watched this video. I hope it provided value to you. And if you did get value out of it, uh, consider leaving a thumbs up, a like. It really helps push these videos out to help more people. Any engagement that we get on them really, really helps out. Uh, also, if you're not already subscribed and you did get value out of this video, uh, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so that you can see more videos when I post them in the upcoming days. I wish you all the best in 2020. I love you guys. Thank you. And I'll see you on the next video.